Today we're going to be reviewing the movie The King's Speech from a Wild Self Perspective. If you haven't seen the movie, please go do. It's a wonderful piece of work, especially for those who are interested in expressive arts. If you're interested in speaking well publicly, if you're interested in performance, if you're interested in what it means and uh, about the relationship between the psyche and human performance and human expression, this is the movie. It's basically about a king, the King of England, during pre-World War II or the build-up to World War II, who had the demands of speaking publicly to the English people during the times of crisis, and yet wasn't able to speak to them in a very eloquent way. And he stammered and stuttered and so forth, and eventually found a coach and a friend, an advisor, who helped him out through it. And it was just amazing transformation that he was able to go through to learn how to coach to actually cope with the stammering. But I'm going to focus on the f one particular part in particular with this particular review and that is that part where we all as creators there's always this moment between us and the audience where we just like ah, freeze. And in that first scene in the movie when he steps up to the microphone and sees the big crowd out there and basically just locks up and what happens is, is that as soon as we psychically don't believe that we can do it, what happens, so does the body starts constricting as well. And while there is much more to it than just sheer mechanics, mechanics are helpful, and we will get into more of this, this psychological realm into it a little bit later with more reviews of the King's Speech. But in this particular instance, one of the things that we can do whenever we step into a situation and the crowd's looking at us is actually to continue our breathing. One of the things we do is we stop actually breathing. I used to do this. I remember I used to, when I would speak in front of people, I would catch myself stop breathing. And the idea is you breathe deep from the belly and if you continue to breathe while you're talking, it is actually impossible to stammer. It's impossible to stutter as long as you're breathing while talking. And it's okay to leave space while you're speaking to large audiences. In fact, if you leave a little space between eloquent moments, it's considered a moment where he or she is reflecting on the situation. And then there's these really neat little tricks that I've learned as well. And that is, is that you don't have to look at the whole, the whole audience. Let's say you're speaking to 2,000 people, you're speaking to 50 people, whatever it is. Find three people that you enjoy looking at that are easy for you to look at, that you, every time you look at them, a smile comes to your face. You can do that and just focus on them because when you look to the left and you look to the center and you look to the right, what happens is that everybody in the section that you're looking will think you're looking at them even though you're looking at that one particular person. That's one, one. That's a very helpful trick. The other thing is, is that you don't. You can always sort of look over your audience to the back of the wall to some extent. Not real high, but you can actually look over your audience. You don't have to look everybody directly in the face. It's very helpful. So, in terms of the King's speech, I am going to be going over different parts of it. It's going to be a multi-part series. This particular part was just focused on the part where we have that anxiety and stress of like. Ugh! Oh my goodness, I am expected to perform in some capacity. Yeah. Every one of us during our life has felt that moment and it's that opening scene in that movie that when you're watching you're like, oh my goodness, my throat even constricted while the poor guy just suffered through it. You just feel. You feel for people that are suffering with just this basic uh, communication pattern. and. Maybe, maybe it's not so basic. It's actually one of the things we fear most. The great irony is is often most people fear speaking publicly much more than they fear death. So it's a crazy thing. Which basically assumes that people are saying that they would prefer being six, six foot under than actually giving the eulogy. So uh, <laughs> anyways, um, if you haven't seen The King's Speech, please do. It's a wonderful movie and uh, you will enjoy it. Alright, thank you everybody.